what? and murdered the giant fire golem that was prowling around the entrance of the shadow keep. Because I figured it's going to be another golem fight with nothing new or interesting, isn't it? And I was 100% correct, so why bother doing commentary throughout the whole thing? Look at it. I just murdered it. It was a bog standard fight. Nothing around it. I, it did take some effort to murder everything around it. I also made it all the way to the hill that was to the left of the golem, which yielded this sacred twin blade. What is it? What is it called, actually? Sacred black steel twin blade. It tells you imbued it with holy so that it does more damage. And I did. I'm fairly underwhelming it's not it's not a weapon that i am super fond of but it's nice to have i suppose there are so many points of interests in this map that i ran out of numbers so now i have markers down on all the places that i have yet to go and i have to venture in i was recommended hey you probably want to do this area south because you're gonna out level it pretty hardcore if you keep ignoring it before we do that, though, I would like to go down this path that m your father discovered that I never encountered, and also back to that painting dungeon that I was never uh, thorough enough exploring. There was a secret room, a secret passage to be found. Let's go and go up this path so to find out what the hell is up there. Ah, here it is. Let's go see what we can discover. I went only as far as using the elevator because I was confused. Like, did I go up here? What the hell's going on? Turns out it was an area that I had never seen before. It did seem, it does seem like it goes, you know, somewhere in this storehouse, maybe some kind of a back room access. There will probably be some extra loot. Hopefully it won't be too long because truth be told, the storeroom area, the entire big tower with the library and all the the piles of books. Let me erase this now that we're here. The specimen storehouse. While it was a good time, it feels fairly generic, doesn't it? It, it feels like, oh man, more standard Dark Souls fare. <laughs> it's like I have traversed an area like this. It even comes with a the side of grace, huh? Uh, I've traversed a place like this, like at least seven times in my soul's history so even though it is a a fun time to explore it for the first time it just starts feeling kind of samey to navigate your way through a pile of platforms and library kind of uh, environment we've been here before even though i have not been exactly here i think that i uh, i'm belaboring a point that it is very easy to understand. I am spamming my attacks thinking that it's going to solve my problems. But I am being absolutely atrocious. And in fact, I need to turn down the volume of my speakers because I think it may be taking over the recording. Holy crap, this guy is... Uh, ah, he's gonna murder me! <laughs> well, I want to heal, but I would rather not get murdered by these fire projectiles! Yeah. You think you're so tough with your beautiful uh, fire daggers and your fire projectiles. How about you have a taste of a real weapon instead of the flimsy garbage dual sword that I was wielding. What a piece of trash you are. Not so tough now, are you? That you have been completely flattened by my handheld anvil. Fire Knight Helm. I don't think I have one of these. I found this wreath. As a modified celebrant cow, I never knew that you could just make it into a absolutely hippie, gorgeous wreath. I like it. This look is just absolutely amazing, though. We gotta, we gotta indulge it. <laughs> we have to complete the set. Also, went and made sure to grab the helmet that I never did. Oh yeah, I am ready to be a conehead, ready to slaughter everybody that thinks differently than me. Uh, I am carrying a heavy load, unfortunately. Let's, uh, since this pile of armor has a pile of poise, let's give myself the Earth Tree's favor. There you are. 
All right, continue exploring these nonsense. Uh, it's a light hiccup. Not a big deal. I'm not uh, particularly let down by the area so far. Okay, there's no opening there. I guess the only way forward is up. Because that looks a lot like the place we were already at. That's how it connects. I guess this is how... Uh, remember... I can't bring out the map when I'm on a ladder. Huh? The, I never knew. Um, remember, I was wondering if the church area in the back with all the ulcerated tree spirits connected with the main body of the Shadow Keep. And, in fact, we never found the connection. Well, here it is. Uh, excuse me, what is going on here? <laughs> what is the, Who designs this? What kind of absolute mad lad designs this storeroom let me let's put an uh entrance in the back and then not even put a connection to the main hall but we'll put a 70 foot long uh tall ladder that will go to the top level that is completely inaccessible any other way the architects in this place probably extremely secure in their union and they just really did not need to pass muster on on um, insightful design or, or common sense design for some reason the words don't, don't want to come to my head today I think I'm just going to become one of those long play video makers that just puts up a 10 hour video oh where you come from a 10 hour video of just pure gameplay with zero commentary I way out that way Let's continue going down this path. Because they're so... Ooh. Are you a sorcery? You are an incantation. Launches a flame with a serpentine coil. Incantation of the Fire Knights under Mesmer's the Impaler. Personal command. Launches a flame with a serpentine coil. Changes. Charging enhances the potency. I have equipped myself with one of these. Check out what it does. Whee! Boom! <laughs> These guys are probably uh, very resistant to fire, so probably the anvil is not a good weapon to be carrying against them. Certainly the fire attacks are not the most effective against these fire acolytes. But the voice sure is nice. The absolute destruction of their composure eliminates completely the need to be strategic or careful in any way. You just attack until they stagger and then you're good to go. Let me put on that fire. I mean, that uh, lantern. A little bit of loot over here. This is the way I came up. Was there any other path or did this is lead to the weird... Damn it, man. I just can't remember where I've been, what I've been doing. I've been too distracted with my nonsense. Yeah, we came out of there. All right, we came up the stairs. I just get distracted. Stop judging me. It's not my fault that I have the brain of a hare and the face of a baboon. It's not my fault. Okay, so it's pretty clear the only way forward, because this there's no jump down. Uh, you probably can reach that, but that's a place we've already been. So it seems pretty clear we're supposed to go out to the passages out here. All right. This is longer than I thought. Definitely more involved adventure that I thought that we would encounter. Blessed Bone Shard. Wow, added to the power of useless crap that I don't care about. Another side of grace. It just keeps going, huh? It's just it's going to keep going into the rafters. It looks like is there uh a destination to be found here or is it just a cool extra area that you can traverse and get a bunch of loot, I guess we're about to find out. Take me up, baby. Up into the rafters where we are, we are guaranteed not to die to gravity. That's not going to happen today. That is not a thing that's in the cards. Butthole is the incredible tightrope navigator that will not be deterred by all these incredible heights. Seems like there's also places to stand down there. I'm sure that we'll make it there at some point. <laughs> Got Luna on my lap. Very distracting influence. I can I am ready to blame her for any upcoming deaths. She shifted in my lap. 
I'm talking about a cat. I am not talking about a human being. It would be a little weird to have a lady just sitting on my lap. My wife will have something to say about that. It is just an animal who uh, is getting old, getting really old. <laughs> this poor girl. She's been through so much. She's been through 15 years with us. All she wants to do is sleep these days. She still plays if you dangle a string in front of her for maybe like a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's like, all right, I I've seen this trick before, bud. How about you just pet me and let me sleep? Murder. Should ha I feel like if we're facing this, these absolutely obnoxious monsters, I have just the tool for this. I just need to find it, though. Uh, there's one of these weapons that has uh, uh, the Storm Ash of War that shoots. Let me see if I can find it. Ah, here it is. The Bandit's Flame Art Curved Sword, plus 25. Just equip it, and this is going to be my way of murdering these disgusting creatures. Going forward, I could take the chance to equip better armor, but whatever. I don't respect these creatures enough to do that. Let me just loot all the monsters, all the things that are to be looted here. I need... I have no idea whether this is going somewhere, it's just a pile of things to be found and then you're done? Oh yeah, much better than having to do silly jump attacks and just hoping for the freaking creature to get in range. There's no path there, but there's a ladder over there. And there's also a shiny wrath from afar. Can't wait to memorize those. Check them out. In fact, I should actually look and uh, look at it. An earth tree incantation discovered in the realm of shadow. Fires a golden shockwave that knocks back nearby fo foes charging. Increases the size of the shockwave. It's like, a, you know, Wrath of the Gods. But it, <laughs> it's actually a projectile. Could be a really funny thing to use up here. If uh, somebody invades this area. I wonder if this is invadable. Uh, this flame art... Bandit sword, not the best tool to using it. This, yo, <laughs> this, this joker. <laughs> you piece of trash. Oh, this piece of trash. Yep, yep, it definitely works. What a, what an annoying encounter. I'm not equipped. Actually, that's pretty, pretty decent. Let me just keep spamming this. It works. I'm just gonna keep spamming this until you're dead. There you go. <laughs> when in doubt, Ash of War. Shadow of the Ash of War, the DLC. It's another elevator over there. Another piece of garbage over there that we can just spam this until the creature's dead. Oh yeah. Continuing with the theme of adaptation to the environment. Instead of being stubbornly fixated, I'm just trying to figure out whether it's worth going down there. Uh, being stubbornly fixated with using a weapon because this is my playstyle, I've been really trying to endeavor to just use the best tool for the job. And it really feels like at least 50% of difficulty in Elden Ring is self-imposed. If you just use the tools the game gives you, you're going to have a much easier time. It's like, you realize the enemies can be staggered easily? How about you break out the fat weapons? You realize your fat weapons are way too slow for this current enemy? Break out the fast weapons. You are finding that you cannot reach the enemies use your ranged weapons instead of trying to jump at that you know you, you can tell what i'm trying to say here this just goes elsewhere you don't have the, the usual freaking message an elevator here huh fine i guess i'll find out where this goes seems like this bandit sword has outlived its welcome i am kind of tired already of being a conehead let's put on mesmer's helm that I went and bought. Absolutely gorgeous redhead over here. Hey, baby. What's your number? Want to come back to my place? You are one handsome lady. Anyway. 
All right. It is just another area. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. But we're not going to go in there just yet because I have, uh, you know, still plenty of things to explore up there. I do want to see the name of it, though. Skadu View. Skibbity View? Uh, some, some kind of monster over there, all right? Oh, oh excuse me! <laughs> well, <laughs> we are... We are fighting. Yep, yeah, I'm being charged. Uh, eventually, I'll find the weapon that I want. There you go. <sighs> I have a mil... Oh, I never got to change the weapon, and now I'm kind of stuck in battle. This guy is going to absolutely murder me. <laughs> and then there goes my one million runes. Commander Gaius. Ah. I just wanted to I just wanted to see the name of the place. Why do I have to get involved in this fight? I didn't want to fight. But now we are committed. This thing needs to die. It is just the way it needs to be done. Well before I attempt this again. Clearly I must. Oh. Have mercy for the spirited away shamans. Okay. Who why is everybody dying here? Gesturing required heads. Skip it in tree fragment. Oh, maybe old mother. Oh, this guy's doing it. This is the kind of thing that I will never find out. Is this old mother? It is. No, no, I don't want to disparage this this good uh, individual who actually helped me out. Oh, mother, please open the way forth, for I have sinned. Forgive me. I can't believe this is in the game. Something that I am at once impressed and kind of annoyed <laughs> at is the inclusion of all these little secrets that there is a 0% chance I would ever come across if there weren't a either awesome comments telling me what I missed or, you know, messages on the floor telling me what I missed. Another side of Grace over there that is a stairs. But will I get locked into another freaking boss fight if I walk forward? <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous view, though. Look at this. This is not what I w thought I would find in the realm of shadow. Anyway, we have a grim task ahead. And I'm going to face it with a raised chin. And unbendable gumption. Let's find out whether this will be one of the incredibly painful ones or we'll be able to uh, trounce this combat in a couple hits. Can you mount? You can mount. Probably supposed to be a mounted combat kind of a fight, right? Come under gates. It just seems reasonable that I am supposed to be doing mounted combat, but maybe not because this guy <laughs> absolutely murdered out my beautiful horse okay well I, I would like to be granted the opportunity to <laughs> roll for your attack buddy you are difficult to dodge I, I could have sworn that I pressed down the dodging button really didn't he just keeps going buddy <laughs> You stop now! <laughs> How are you stop? I did one hit to this fella. Here we needed some kind of range to combat. Uh, also dodging is... You gotta time it so well or, or you're bone. Ow. That delay absolutely destroyed me. And, oh, I thought I was for sure dead. We do quite a lot of damage, this fellow, though. I think if you stay on the side that he doesn't have a weapon on, and here's a amazing stagger. All right, all right. It's not as hopeless as it seemed. But, I mean, it's, it's rough. For sure. The amount of... Uh, ow. And he has, of course, he has a second face. Oh. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Absolutely amazing attack. Congratulations on your incredible ability to defy gravity. I'm being a total piece of scum. Oh yeah, I was hoping for a stagger, baby. 
Uh, this is rough, but definitely this is the right weapon to fight this fellow with. It is painful. Die. It is a painful series of attacks that this fellow does, but with the giant... It, this was actually a... A remembrance... A remembrance-worthy boss. Uh, with the giant hammer, man, it just trivializes so many enemies that can be staggered. If the enemy can be staggered, this hammer is going to absolutely obliterate them. It is custom-made for our current build, which is faith, strength, and just big bonk on the head. Absolutely wonderful. I really thought there would be more pain involved in that entire this entire experience maybe i have over leveled this entire thing but how many runes do we get out of that we have 1.4 million we are reaching the max level that i wanted to reach which, which was 200 here's something that i want though let's get dex 18 because i'm pretty tired of having to swap in talismans to use a few of the weapons and then strength uh, oh i wanted to go up to 60 we don't have enough by like one so let me use one of the 20 million runes that we have been grabbing i'm sure there's like yeah look at that 54 because i was actually let me use all of these uh, i was farming that wreath from the celebrants village and all their weapons so i they drop level three runes anyway level 60 there you go this is it this is the final state of butthole but the butthole is complete and perfect and now i guess i'll just spend all my runes and more upgrade materials so anyway i don't want to come this way <laughs> i wanted to keep exploring i wanted to keep exploring the storehouse and something that i never did was talk to everybody let's take a small hiatus here and go and talk to every npc see if they have something new and exciting to say righteous tarnished you have my gratitude you have given me the answers i needed but i can hardly fathom it such folly unto the end i am a warrior but i've aged I cannot afford to act hastily. Curse it all. I have I no idea what you're I talking spend about. I the rest of my life honing my craft. And still that creature would be out of my blade's reach. What creature? What are you talking about? I, this is the problem with Souls NPCs. It's been so long since I last talked to you. I have no clue what your storyline is. The absolute folly of it all. All right, all right. It is folly to be trying to make sense of this narrative. Hmm. I came back to here and they're both gone, but there's a piece of loot. Message from Lida. Dane passed on a message. The ceiling tree is in the ancient ruins of Ro. It lies beyond the high bridge leading from the first floor of the storehouse. I will join you there once I have finished the task at hand. But Lita is over here, though. Yeah, Needle Knight Lita. Let's go over there and see if uh, she's still there. Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> you, false advertisement. Let's talk to this guy, fella first, because he was the one that was uh, hell-bent on revenge, and now he got it. What cruelty is this? Who would rob me of my one vital purpose? Me, I did. I so feeble, witless, I killed it, and you didn't. Dull a blade that vengeance was never to have been mine. Sucks to you, buddy. I stole your thunder. Oh, mother. Oh, most cherished wife and child. It seems vengeance was not mine to enact. Where now should I point my tired 
blade. Where now? Not my problem, buddy. I am a uh, machine of death. Is not my problem that you wanted to kill something that I got to first. Ah, oh, there you are. It took me long enough, I know. But I've made my decision. I'm going to leave the horn sent to his own devices. Coward! With the object of his vengeance gone, his blade has grown dull. In that state, I don't imagine he will ever fight again. I needn't bother with him. Lest, of course, another target for his retribution should appear. Lady, this creature is just not a threat to anybody. It's some pathetic wretch that deserves not even the air we breathe. I know I shouldn't let myself. But I suppose it's only natural to feel the weight of one's deeds at times like these. There's plenty left to be done. And I will see to it. Unless I get to it first? Who else? I wonder. I don't enjoy casting suspicion on anyone I've called a comrade. But it's a small sacrifice in the grand scheme of things. We must eradicate all doubt. Once more, and this is a failure of my own, not of the narrative. I have no idea what you're talking about because I talk to you I'm once every 10 hours. I so it's a, small... <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a little troublesome to keep track of what everybody's problem is. Let's see if we can find someone else to be confused at. This fellow's still here. Maybe he has finally decided to kill himself. Um, I have something I wish to tell you. I'm heading south. I've recalled something that Sir Moore said. He discovered deep purple water lilies blooming on the southern shore. That must be where St. Trina was left to wither away. Ha ha ha! Gay! You got anything new for me? I'm heading south of the shore. Okay, go pick flowers, buddy. I wish you the best of luck. Probably we'll see him there because that's where we want to head. As soon as I'm done with this storeroom nonsense and then the painting room, we'll be heading south. <sighs> who else? Who else? You know who can hurt you? That's right, you're staring at her. Be are gone. you Yuri? There is nothing. I have no idea who you are, and you are a total cold hearted buffoon that does not warm up to. Oh, he's talking to a hand. <laughs> he's literally talking to the hand. It's not a hand, though, it's some kind of horrendous abomination, probably, that came out of his own butthole. Is something the matter? Here to squeeze another lesson out of me. Like you squeeze that out of your anatomy? Ah, you met Jolan. Jolan. Well, I hope that she behaved at least. She behaved like a bitch is what she did. Grave misfortune. Her tongue can be sharp at the best of times. But don't think that makes her a bad person. It makes no difference to me. Everybody so dies. Surprise, her little sister too has a heart of gold. That's all you got, huh? Is something the matter to squeeze in the... All right, well, you are one uh, strange individual, and I hope to never have to deal with you again. Back to this enormously obnoxious loft, where there's a scumbag that's trying to shoot at me from... Oh, <laughs> this idiot came to meet me! What a absolute buffoon. I wanted to get rid of him with extreme violence, like so. Oh, <laughs> she's mutually assured destruction over here. Here, have some of the. <laughs> he sucks to you, scumbag. <laughs> oh, yeah. Totally earned. He started it. He shot one of those at me. 
And I was like, oh, son of a bitch, you almost just murdered me. I wanted to do that to him before he knew I was here. But unfortunately, he started with the aggression and I ended it. I am seeing a piece of loot there. And I also saw a piece of loot from the bottom. Where was it? I was climbing the stairs and I was like, oh, there's, there's loot over there. Oh, there it is. It's the same thing that I just noted. So how you get there? I see two chains. Check this out. Check this out. I am very smart. Oh, look at that. Other oh, elevator coming up. And now... You hit it. Luna, how about you sit down and be quiet instead of trying to lick the hand that I have on the mouse. You are going to interfere with the murderous... No, don't, don't lick my hand. <laughs> Stop it. Stop! <laughs> Luna. Luna. Just lay down. Lay down and be quiet, okay? You pr probably have put on the cat cam. She's licking my mouse hand. How can I possibly be a cold-hearted killer while a cat is licking my hand? Alright. Let's see where this elevator goes. I thought that's where it would go, but it goes to this area, huh? Uh, the flame art shamshers uh, or curved swords, they are not the greatest to use against these guys. So what I'm gonna do... I was hoping to have some kind of magical weapon, but here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to be still a massive scumbag. Can I maybe get a backstab on this piece of trash? I can! <laughs> Let's see, it's like because it's mostly fire damage, it's not that great. But right here, eat all of these, and I should murder you before I run out of of magical juice. Rune of an unsung hero. Very happy to find it. We're going to go back up. And there was a platform over here that I'm pretty certain I haven't been to. But I could be wrong. There's absolutely nothing here! What a scam. Why does this even exist? There has to be a reason for this to exist, right? Well, you had to say. Pathetic sword ahead, thanks. <laughs> what you mean? What you mean? Makes no sense whatsoever. Nothing this way. Yeah, it's just a... Uh, do you expect giant sword? What are you talking about? Freaking nonsense. I hate everybody that leaves stupid messages. This is a decoy. Yeah, that's more like it. This is a decoy area where uh, nothing matters. It seems we may be done. Surely this leads. I mean, it did lead to that other area that we found, right? That's probably the entire purpose of this this place. But it feels like uh, it's incomplete. Like, hey, you are not quite done yet. You need to make sure. You're not missing anything. But I feel like I'm now I'm going in circles over here. Pretty sure I've already been this far. Visions of despair. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Let's go down there. I'm going to explore a little bit more, but I'm think I'm going to call this area done. I officially deem this place fully explored. These fire project projectiles are okay. They're not bad. But they do have a tendency to get caught in all kinds of places. Definitely not something I'm going to stick with. Stick with. It's just a nice novelty. You know, if I find something I like to use it, check it out. But it's not something that makes me all that excited. I really appreciate the wrath from afar, though. That's going to be hilarious in a lot of places where there is gravity to be used. I bet that's a, a real fun thing to use in PvP. Please do not... Do not lock onto a, a enemy that is far away when some other monster is trying to murder me. I've always enjoyed this dual curved sword. That's so cool. Dual curved sword's moveset is badass. Does a lot of damage too. It's very, very nice. Let me swap them though. Because I do like this a lot better than the storm attack. Anyway, let's check out that painting. And the area around it. Well, well, well. Is this the... Secret passage. I, it, again, it irritates me 
that is so well hidden. Like, if you didn't see the messages in front, would you really think of attacking that entrance? Clearly not, right? But that's the, the nature of this kind of video games. They don't give a crap whether you miss a whole two hours of content or some cool weapon that you could maybe really appreciate. It doesn't matter to Miyazaki and, and his cohort. They're just going to put something in there. If you find it, well, that's great. If not, who the hell cares? You still got a massive pile of game anyway. We love coffins, the Uber of the lands between. I will not leave a five-star review in this coffin. The seat was extremely uncomfortable. Made my entire flesh shrivel as I was trying to deal with the cold. Inside of this coffin, please, some padded surfaces in this stone enclosure would be very appreciated. So, according to the comments, it's not just, hey, here's a nice, cool piece of loot. It's actually, hey, here's another giant area that we are hiding from you. So, it is, in fact, something that's going to take a while. But I really do want to explore this one. Because there was a hint saying that, hey, there is some involvement with the Flame of Frenzy. And I love that entire aspect. Ah, that's how you reach this area that I was trying to find a way down here. That's cool. That's very cool. We can take that one out. Uh, I put a marker over here, so uh, don't forget to go back to explore that area and this area. But for now, we're going to check out There's two paths, though. And I see a side of grace over there. You always go to the side of grace. Got to activate that nonsense. Scadualtus still. Lots of people dying. What is the deal? Grace, but why is it always blasted? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being... People just... Are people just imbibing <laughs> the, the poison just to make a meme? I'll take this piece of loot, though. Another golem got murdered down here, huh? Furnace Visage. A bunch of furnace golems destroyed down here. Probably that one's coming back to life, I bet. Let's see what's on the other side, though. If I go, it basically goes back inside the keep. Probably this is the dead end. Dead end ahead, thank you. <laughs> no research ahead. I'm still gonna look at it. All the coffins that got tossed from above. Are these all magical coffins? Could this have been my fate if my coffin Uber had never opened? It's a possibility. Yeah, okay. There's absolutely literally nothing, huh? Only a piece of lore flavor of here's where we toss our dead. <laughs> Hilarious. All these dang old coffins. They're open, though. Do they just bust open when they drop? That makes a lot of sense. Why even bother with the stone coffin, though? Why not just throw the body itself? Makes no sense. What a waste. Do, do you think that crafting a coffin like this it's an easy feat. It's also extremely heavy. They're full of soil. What a mad, mad endeavor to craft a stone coffin, fill it up with, with soil, and then throw it down a cliff. Anyway, I am very much looking forward to see what horrendous monster is about to murder me. It will happen in the next episode.